Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest V, The Next Mutation. I have been a little bit silly. Um, I wasn't going mad, I did indeed get told where we were supposed to be going in this game, and some of you guys have kindly pointed it out. S. Thomas and Scott Wood have timestamped exact points in this playthrough where I was told exactly what to do. Um, we were given three planets. We were given uh, Gangularis PU, both of which we've been to, and the last one is another planet which I am ashamed to say it took me a long time to understand the pun for. Um, I was calling it Kizurazgabi and I just could not figure out what that was supposed to be. It's believe, oh well, I believe it's supposed to be pronounced Kizurazgabi as a clever little pun there. Took me a while to, for it to click which is uh, not great. So I looked up my list of planets and I realised that that one is not actually in my list. So I went back to the game manual and it turns out there were two that I completely missed. One called KU which I'm guessing is supposed to be that one and the other one is called um, Thracus. Now both of these were in a weird place on the page in the manual right up near the top so I completely skipped them. But thankfully now I know what I'm supposed to be doing. So <laughs> we're going to jump in. We're going to go to Kizuraz Goodbye, which I am now going to laugh at every time I say it. Uh, lay in a course, and we're finally going to get this show on the road after... Yeah, l last episode, I apologise. It's, it's one of those things that happens sometimes when you're doing a blind playthrough like, you know, 99% of my series on this channel are. Sometimes you get a bit sidetracked, you don't really know what you're doing, and you spend the whole episode trying to brute force things, which is what we did last time. This time there should hopefully be a little bit of progress. I mean, we got to see all of the nice um, planetary systems in the galaxy, which is, you know, something, I suppose. So let's hit light speed. Uh, we're going to KU or Kizuraz Goodbye, which is at 20011. And hopefully we'll be able to find our third location, which we were supposed to be on for garbage duty. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about this Thrakus place as well. I don't think we need to go there yet. It turns out we didn't need to scan all the systems and, and things that we did last time. But, you know, we've seen them. It's It could have gone a lot worse. I suppose we could have died multiple times and we didn't. So, let us, in your own time, you know, in your in your own time, let's get there. What was that? We've been hit by a proton torpedo. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. A tractor beam is locked onto us, Captain. We're being pulled in. But by whom? Get us out of here, Drool. Is, is this supposed to happen, or have I done something wrong? <laughs> Helm not responding, sir. Weapon systems inoperative. Did we do something wrong by taking so long to get here? That's my initial concern with this. Oh, no. It's the Space Terminator. Is that is that Space Terminator ship? We're being hailed, sir. I'm putting it on screen. Yep, yeah, it is the Space Terminator. Roger Wilco, under the authority of Erg's extensively revised Galactic Statute 2564.45, Chapter 4123, Subparagraph 23, I hereby command you to beam down and surrender your person for arrest. What have we done now? Failure to comply with these instructions will result in the destruction of your ship and everyone aboard. Well, we've probably got to do it then, right? We don't want these guys to die. Looks like the Gippozoid novelty company still hasn't forgotten about that little piece of mail fraud you pulled on them back in Space Quest 2. Really? <laughs> All the things we've done since then and they're still after us. I thought this was over with after I had that run-in with Arnoid on the planet Fleabut a few years back. Oh, it's called Arnoid, was it? <laughs> That's quite funny. You thought wrong, human. It just goes to show, never send a mandroid to do a womanoid's work. <laughs> Alright. Can't we come to some kind of arrangement? Beam down to the planet. Your body will be disassembled and sold to various biotechnology firms to pay interest and collection fees. Oh, we don't want that. We'd rather not die. I'm scanning your ship. Any attempt at escape or subterfuge will result in your immediate annihilation oh, of your ship and crew. The immediate annihilation, I should say. You have five standard time units before I destroy your ship, Roger. What is that? What's five standard time units? Is that five minutes? I think she means business, Captain. I agree, and could you hurry up and beam down, sir, before she gets impatient and blows us all up? Fine, I'm sure we can do that. Uh, right, let's let's stand up then. And we will save. I don't, yeah, I mean, it's five time units, just five minutes. I'm hoping it is and not like five seconds or something ridiculous. Well, she's not going to get me without a fight. Whatever you say, sir, been nice knowing you. <laughs> 
Well, we might be about to die. There's got to be a way out of this, right? It seems like this is perhaps meant to happen, given by the sort of the, the dialogue choices and things like that. So let's call it uh, five units. Why not? And we'll save. How do we beam? Do we go to the transporter room, I'm guessing? And then maybe we use that little device in our inventory, which I'm sure was something to do with transporting. Uh, right, let's go. Why are we walking like that? <laughs> Alright, so it, it was through to this room on the left, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. Alright, was it- I'm sure it was through here, wasn't it? God, the music is very intense. Oh, thingamajig's in here. So, so what do we do here? Do we just, like, stand in this? And then, can we command it? No. Uh, can we... It's this thing, isn't it? Starcon standard issue personal commun- Oh, it's a communication device. Can we... That's not necessary. How, how do we use this thing? That will not be of any help. Energize! Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's just like Star Trek. Okay, was this good? Were we supposed to? We got we got ten score for it, so I'm assuming it is. Ooh. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, on Monkey Island. Is this the? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like it's almost like a pterodactyl or something. It's a really cool ship. Or is it like a bug? I don't know. It looks kind of like a pterodactyl to me. Oh god, I'm getting major Space Quest 3 flashbacks here. <laughs> and we all know how that went. Oh, it's cloaked. Oh no, she can fly? Well, we know where the ship is now, right? It's like up on top of that thing. God, um, right. Let's save. Again, because we, we don't want to have to beam down again. I'm guessing, similar to in Space Quest 3, we're going to have to find a way of, of getting rid of her. So let's take a look around and see what the hell we can do around here. Can we maybe like hide under the water or something? Or uh, Right, let's, let's look. A babbling waterfall splashes noisily into a pool at the base of the imposing granite cliffs. Now, this area reminds you of the decor on... Decor of a resort on Eroticon 6, where you once vacationed. All that's missing is six bathing beauties and a tub of crazy glue. <laughs> crazy glue, Jesus. This large tree is unremarkable in size. I, is there some... The falls are far too far out into the pool for you to reach. Uh, it's not one of those waterfalls, like classic game waterfalls, where there's something behind it, is it? I think it might be, you know. <laughs> it is! <laughs> There's always something behind the waterfalls in video games. It's like rule number one. Wait, is there anything to the left? Or is it? No, okay. So there's some sort of cave system here. Where's this going to bring us out? Uh, okay. The beauty of this picturesque scene causes you to forget for a brief instant that you're being stalked by a killer android, who would like nothing better than to wear your gizzard as a bow tie. <laughs> There's an image. Um, oh, look, there's another. There's another cave here. Oh god, this place is like a maze. Oh, what was that sound? <gasps> oh no, the Terminator. Where are we now? God, this is intense, isn't it? Uh. Oh, there we are. Oh god, how do we get across to there? Do we have anything? Uh, oh, we do have a gun. Maybe we, maybe we should, like, equip that. That is a gun, right? Uh, it's a laser cutting, cutting torch. I mean, that could be useful to have. We could maybe shoot it at the... What was that? What? After having the interior of the cave redecorated with your entrails, you conclude that entering a cavern known to contain a killer android can be hazardous to one's health. <laughs> uh, 
I didn't even see the android. Uh, hang on. I, I just want to try as... The last time you went for a dip in a pool, you nearly ended up as slug chow back on Estros. You, Estros. You opt not to go for a swim. Right, okay. So the only thing we can do then is to go through these caves. So I was right. I think. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> we, we have at least made progress in this episode, like I promised, which is a good thing. Can we go this way? Oh, we can. There's multiple ways. Interesting. What is that? The large hollow log is about the same diameter as Roger's body. Looks like it might be time. Oh, is that us? Are we hiding in there? Oh, yeah, I think we are, you know. Okay, so there are hiding places. The fruit hangs enticingly just out of reach. That's going to be... That's going to be a trap or something, right? It's not necessary. Okay. Can we shoot it? When in doubt, shoot it, right? Okay, no. Right, there's also a cave here, it turns out. So let... No! <gasps> this is where the... And the fact that she has cloaking capabilities only makes matters worse. I skipped something there. I wouldn't give a Tim Buckazoid for your life right now, Rog. Uh... Wow, we can jump? Oh, no. WD-40. <laughs> I grew weary of you hanging around, Wilco. Thanks for dropping... <laughs> the animation. You just couldn't bounce back from that one, eh, Roger? Okay. Fine. Fine. But actually, that that kind of worked, I think. I d so we can jump over gaps, so maybe we can jump over that other gap as well. It's certainly something we might be able to do. Why are we going a strange way? Okay, let's let's try going. I want to try. One thing I want to try is when we're hanging on, I want to see if I can shoot her with that laser gun. Because that that could definitely. Maybe we can also go up that way. There's something hanging up here. Like, can we walk along this branch? We've got to be quick because it seems like she... Yeah, so it seems like she always spawns in at exactly the same moment here. I want to see what this dialogue says as well. Phew, that was too close. You better keep moving, Rog. That WD-40 android won't give up till you're a smoldering pile of hero salsa. Okay. So she can cloak like the other android did. Right, can we... Oh no, we can't. Okay. We can't. We can't actually do anything when we're hanging there. We can't... We don't seem to be able to get hold of anything. So, new plan. We go back the old way, and we see if we can jump across to that other cave where we um, where we died before when we went back through the caves. That is probably an awful description, so I apologise. So, we'll head through here. Like so. And then we'll go through here. And then she appears down here, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this bit's scripted as well. I like the trees sort of rustle in the wind. Yeah, there she is. So given that we could jump over the other gap, I wonder if we can jump over this gap. I mean, the worst that can happen at this point is we die again, which is, you know, just space quest, isn't it? Can we jump? We can jump. Right, let's get into here. Okay. Oh, we come out here. And we're dead. No, we're not dead. We're not dead, it turns out. Huh. Can we... I, I kind of feel like maybe there's something we can do there. Oh, God. Can we... Can we, can we go anywhere from here? <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> that was so stupid. Nice reflexes. We'll mail your remains home in an envelope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright then, well. New plan. We're going to check out that other bit of the branch. <laughs> and see if that works. Which, I'm guessing it probably won't. But we'll give it a go. So, we'll go right. So it seems like if we go that other way, then it, it causes an issue because 
she preempts where we're going. So let's see, can we go up here at all? We can go. Are we dead? It's a big branch. Oh, we're not dead. Can we get the Can we get the big branch? I think we might be able to the water is cold. It turns out yes we can get the big branch. Okay, quick, let's save. We'll save again and we'll call it branch. Or log or whatever the hell it is. We'll have a look at whatever it is. Uh, branch. So we were meant to do that. So, okay, so we've got a third time lucky then with the plan, I'm guessing. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I kind of feel like we're in danger here. What is this? A sturdy branch that broke under your weight. Maybe someone's trying to tell you something. <laughs> Alright then, guys. I tell you what, we'll leave it there because we're out of time. But we've made a little bit of progress this time, which is better than last time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.